Hello everyone, it's the Universal Gamer, aka OG25, and welcome back to Minecraft Slab Fun Survival. This time around, I'm going to show you how to make an, a lumber axe and an ancient altar. First things I want to say a few things. It's been a while since episode 1, so now the Viola server is on 1.15, as you can tell by the bell behind me. And the server been rebooted, so I have to get everything again. But, I've, but I've done it. So, here's the episode. So, let's get started, shall we? So, first of all, I want to make a lumber axe because earlier today I've been um, I've been deforesting a forest biome to get a lot more wood, and it took forever. So I'm going to craft a lumber axe to save time. And why would it save time, you ask? Because a lumber axe cuts down the whole tree. It will save so much time, so I'm craft it today. To make a lumber axe, I'm going to need two gilded iron, which I've showed you last episode, a synthetic emerald, and two synthetic diamonds. In order to make a synthetic diamond, I'm going to need one carbon chunk. To put that, I need to put that in a pressure chamber, which is this over here. In order to make a, comp a carbon chunk, I need eight compressed carbon surrounding a flint in a enhanced crafting table and to get a compressed carbon I need four carbon in a compressor here and to get carbon I need eight eight pieces of coal in the compressor I've already done the math and everything's in the sugar box so first of all I'm going to do the coal I'm going to show you one one of them I'm only going to show you one, one of them, so that's one, click the cauldron, and that doesn't recognise it. Why does that not recognise it? I am a complete idiot, I've been using the wrong machine. I'm not supposed to use this machine, I'm supposed to use this machine. Ta-da! <laughs> I was... What I was doing, I was, I was using the presser chamber instead of the compressor. If look at the book. What I was doing, um, if I go back to the tools, it's a fainted arm in. I'm mistaking this as the, as the presser chamber because of the piston here. And there's four of them. <laughs> four pistons here, so I put two and two together which is completely wrong so here we go so start again <laughs> right I'm going to make four of these I'm only going to do one carbon chunk I'm only going to do one of them Sorry. Oh, but let me guess. Compressor under here. Oh. <laughs> this is why I need to learn it. I need some. I need someone by my side. Right. Compressed chuck. There's one. Compressed carbon. Now I'm going to compress all of this coal into compressed carbon. Be back in a minute. And there we go. Sixteen. 16 compressed carbon. So now I need um, flint, which is over here. I need flint, compressed carbon in a enhanced crafting table, which is this one, because that is a magical crafting table. So, so my inventory is too full. Oh, okay. So, uh, so I can only do one at, at a time. Done. And one more. Done. Now I've got the carbon chunks. I can turn these into glut into synthetic diamonds, which is the pressure chamber, which is that one.
Da da! Two synthetic diamonds. Finally! <laughs> that took forever. It took so long doing that. Oh god. Right. Now that's over the done with. Now I need a synthetic emerald. First of all, I'm need. I'm gonna make a synthetic sapphire. Lucky this is in a smeltery, which is this one. So I need aluminum dust and aluminum ingot, lapis lazuli, glass, and a glass pane, which I've already got right here. So first, I need to make aluminum ingot, which is just. What? Oh no, I forgot flint and steel. Right, got the flint and steel. So put that. Oh. Wrong place, put that there. One, eliminate it. So, I need to put eliminate dust there, that there, lapid lazuli there, glass pane, no, glass block, and glass pane there. Right click the fence, and a synthetic sapphire. Check. Now we'll go back here, I need another aluminum ingot. There we go. Now it is glass pane, synthetic sapphire, aluminum dust and aluminum ingot. Ingot, dust, pane, sapphire. Synthetic emerald, yes! Now all I need to do is put all of these stuff in a magic crafting table. It's just this one. Two diamonds there, synthetic emerald, gilded iron. Ugh, I'm so happy. <laughs> Ding! The lumber axe. <laughs> I'm gonna need a teacher. I'm I'm gonna get a teacher next episode, so don't screw screw it up. <laughs> so don't waste up. So I won't so I won't waste time. Ugh. Like. Lumber axe. I will show you that. Oh, I might as well show you what that does right now. Luckily, there is there is a swamp biome right next to me. Well, over there somewhere. My render distance is low because my laptop can't run 1.15. As you can see by the lag spike. So, normally, with a normal axe, you have to cut on the entire tree. This time around, Done. <laughs> oh god, that is going to take. That is going to save so much time. Like, the only thing I'm going definitely going to ask my future teacher is if you can enchant, enchant um, slime fun tools and weaponry, because I definitely like to have unbreaking on them. Right, I'm going to go put this axe over here, and now. I'm going to make an ancient altar. But first, I'm going to need ancient pedestals. So I'm going to need four obsidian, two gold ingots, eight carrot, and one stone. I've got that set up in one of the sugar boxes, which is this one. So I need eight carrot gold. So I need to smelt that in here, which you already seen very fastly. So I'm going to show you slowly how to do it. Three, oh, let's see. Oh, that's why I categorised them. Three there. One. Two. Oh, uh, yeah, it is two. Oh, that's six, and it's eight. One, two, three. It's eight. Right, put that out. Okay, I need for the magic workbench, which is this one. Put those two in. So, what is the recipe? It is. I've seen the corners. That there and that there. And I just realised I can need more gold dust. Uh, here. Six. So I'm going to 
make another one. Be right back. And there we go. And that, and for the ancient altar, you need eight ancient pedestals because the ancient altar, when it's built, it's basically like a three by three grid. So you need nine places to put them in. Anyways, now I need to make the altar itself, which is I need to go to the magical gadgets and there's the enchantment table with the ancient altar. So we need to need enchantment 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 table, two obsidian, two a carrot gold and two tier three magical lumps, which I've already got set up right here. Now hopefully I've got the right items again. So so need one more ingot. Need to put that in there. Wrong one. Put that in there. Oh, I just I hate when that goes out. But there's a there's a bit there's a basic machine that would pre that prevents that, which I'm gonna make maybe in a few episodes time with a future teacher. So good. Now we need to make magical lumps, which I think I need to use this crafting table with the never wart. Let me just double check. Grindstone. <laughs> okay. I'm using one. I'm supposed to use this. Okay. And now I turn these magical lumps into into tier 2s and tier 3s by using the enhanced crafting table which is this one oh. so I need to do one at a time which is annoying there we go oh I need to do it again one and two so now I've got everything to make the agent altar. So we need two obsidian in the corners, a carrot gold in the middle, two magical lumps on the side, and the enchantment table at the top in a magic crafting table, which is this one. So one, two, three, four. Boom! So now I'm going to show you how to make the ancient altar. Just, well, it's pretty basic, really. I've seen, I've seen the the multi-block recipe recipe on the wiki. <coughs> and I'm going to set everything up in my TARDIS. Yep, I have set everything. I've set a lot of items here in the in my TARDIS. However, the the smell tree won't work because it requires fire. And fire does not work in the TARDIS. So we've got the ancient altar in the middle. I need to go two blocks on here. On each on each side. Oh, wrong one. And one here. One here. One here. And one here. That is the ancient altar. And oh no, cut this. We use the correct recipe because one item I want to make is a smelter's pickaxe, which is this one. Which, although it's used in the enhanced crafting table, the one thing I need to use the ancient altar on is the lava crystals. Because that's in the enhanced crafting table, but it's all this stuff. And trust me. This is a recipe within a recipe, which I'm going to need some help. So, that's going to be it for today. I've shown you how to make the Agent Altar, which I'm standing right on. <laughs> and I showed you how to craft the Lumber Axe. So, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.